drawing with candle smoke um, and drawing freehand with candle smoke is something to a large extent which I've developed on my own. It's really basic and it's an incredibly primitive process. All you're doing is taking a lit flame and moving it over a paper surface and you're catching the deposit of smoke. You're basically catching a ghost. You get this incredibly fragile and vulnerable medium. It's just a soot deposit on that surface. And by building up layers of soot, almost the way you would put up layers of paint, then working back in with a brush or um, with the tips of my fingers, you bring your highlights in. So it's a very additive, subtractive, just putting down washes of smoke. So you're kind of moving the board and the candle at the same time. So you land up following the ghost of, of your smoke drawing. What I see is one of the the fixed um, aspects of the medium is that you can't fix and you can't stabilize a smoke drawing. So if you try and spray them as you would traditionally with fixative over charcoal drawing, they disappear. And it's that fragility and vulnerability that I really like. It's You touch them and you destroy them. It's like so many people's lives. If you touch them, you interfere with them, you do more damage than good. So it's kind of using the fragility of the medium, which is what excites me about it. Not just its technical potential um, to force me to loosen up and work spontaneously, but the fact you literally are just producing, you're catching a ghost. I'm not a negative person at all. I'm actually generally a really happy person. I make works about things that anger me. When I'm happy, I'm an absolutely useless artist. make work as a way of communicating about things that anger me. Um, and I'm not this bleak pessimist. A lot of my work, not specifically the smoke drawings, more so the etching or the works that have more detail, has a lot of very dark humour to it, albeit sort of gallows humour. And one of my approaches has been that no matter how dark things are, you have to see the humour side to it. It's a survival tactic and it's a way of lightening things and making issues approachable by seeing that humorous aspect. Um, I've had a lot of flack for it, taking really difficult subject matter and trying to bring this, not humorous in a joke way, but this, this subverted kind of dark humor to it, um, but it, it's my own personal way of, of dealing with shit. What I hate is indifference. What freaks me out is indifference. People who, who just turn away and don't give a damn. I'd rather I made a work that upset someone to the extent that they call me out on it and they want to discuss it or they want to take issue with it or it makes them think about it or upsets them enough to go home and get really freaked out as opposed to just doing the standard South African attitude which is put your head in the sand like an ostrich and pretend that it's not happening if it doesn't hit you personally. of what I do is try and draw the subject matter I'm dealing with. I draw it out of myself through the artwork that I make. I think all my life, very much the way a child um, draws out the stuff in their head, it's what I've always done. Just draw the things out of my head.